Let's take a look at the top headlines first. One killed and one injured at Tonglaubi village. Curfew relaxation cancelled for Imphal East, shortened to 12 p.m. for Imphal West. And Emily Ramuiva rejects East Mojo report. Hello and welcome to Ali TV English News. I'm Mukbala Longjam. Before giving you the news, we request you to follow the SOP given by the government. Wear face masks when out in public, wash hands regularly and maintain a minimum distance of six feet between one person and another. Ali TV also requests you to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves from this virus and play your part in the fight against COVID-19. Now the news in detail. In relation to the conflict since May 3rd between two communities at around 9 a.m. this morning at Gangathe area, which is situated close to Tonglaubi village in Turachanpur district, some people of the Mithe community went to the said area where armed cookie miscreants were waiting and started firing at them. One person was killed and another grievously injured in the said incident. The name of the person who was killed is Toijam Chandramani 30. Son of Toijam Ingo Chauba of Churachanpur Singh Alirab, and the injured person is Lechombam Abungnao, 22 years, son of Kamba of Ngangkhal Lawai Awang Lekai. The shots fired by the armed cookie militants resulted in the death of Chandramani, and Abungo Abungnao got shot on his thigh, calf, and stomach. They were taken to hospital in Imphal, where the condition of Abungnao remains critical. Media persons went to district hospital, Bishnupur, where they found out life-saving drugs were unavailable and were unable to meet the hospital medical superintendent till 11 a.m. It is unfortunate that the district hospital is not equipped to handle any emergencies at this critical stage. They urged the concerned authorities to look into the matter at the earliest. The curfew relaxation period from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. on May 24, 2023 by the Office of the District Magistrate of Imphal East District has been cancelled with immediate effect since 23rd May. There shall be total curfew in the whole of Imphal East District. All persons belonging to essential services like health, PHED, municipal of officials, staff and media personnel are exempted from the curfew. The curfew relaxation period in Imphal West District was shortened to 12 p.m. A press release from the Revolutionary People's Front, RPF, declared that on May 23, 2023, at around 9 a.m., the armed wing of RPF, People's Liberation Army, PLA, had an encounter with Indian Occupational Force and there ensued a heavy gunfight between the two. The PLA was stopped and obstructed by Indian Occupational Force, but the PLA was swift to fire back and retaliate with heavy firing and bombs. Sisipur Churachanpur women folk demands separate administration alleging the state government of sponsoring ethnic cleansing programs against the cookies. Women folk of Churachanpur yesterday staged a sit-in protest demanding separate administration. The women folk gathered at various places holding placards and banners that voiced their concerns over the concern violence in Manipur. They gathered in front of Mini Secretariat, Tuibong, Churachanpur Police Station, Dorkas Hall, New Lamka, and D. Lane Bazaar. The protest was organized by Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum Women's Wing. They held placards stating, You have swept us out of Manipur. Do not cry for us. By No separate administration, no rest, no love between us. Be happy as good neighbor. Separate administration inevitable under total separation. De facto separation requires de jure. Recognition. Thank you, Birain. You completed the process of total separation. Dear Maitei, we are separated already. Stop interfering in our affairs. 
Separate administration precedes peace and communal harmony. It may be mentioned that 10 MLAs of Cookie's Cookie community, including two ministers, had demanded a separate administration, stating that Manipur miserably failed to protect their people. So separate administration will uh, hopefully give us uh, the right uh, political uh, political rights, financial uh, no financial power, political powers, and developmental powers. So we want the developmental funds from the center to come directly to us. We want uh, the money or the facilities to be enjoyed by us fully. And so if uh, that demand uh, is not is not met, I think uh, even the people here we are all ready to sacrifice yes. more, even more so. So this is only a, a sit in turn up. I'm not saying any violence will happen but what i'm saying is it's a, it is a mass based movement the entire population in the hill region in the hill districts they are fully on board regarding separate administration with more political powers to us in the meanwhile cookie protesters conveyed to the central government their unanimous stand to solution first peace later during the sit-in protest held on tuesday at kathilmanbi military colony under Champhai subdivision the protesters also demanded that the solution should be based on the political talks of the united people's front upf and the cookie national organization kno with the governments of india and manipur we always accept peace but before it is talked about we first want the central government to address our problems and give us a solution stated committee of tribals units at their hills spokesperson in case in law. He asked why the government representatives coming to meet them only propagated about peace but said nothing on the community's suffering or heard their cries when there is a lot of damage and loss of lives. As a result of gunshots fired by Su Chin Kuki militants, a person was injured and brought to Rims Hospital. The person injured in the firing is Aribam Rishikesh, aged 33 years, son of late A. Bidhu from Singda Kadangban Part 1. The incident occurred at midnight at around 1 a.m. when the cookie militants waited in hiding behind IFCD quarters and started firing indiscriminately. Aribam Rishigesh got gunshots on his hand and legs. 7th Manipur Rifles personnel rushed to the spot evac and evacuated the injured person to Rims Hospital. Okrul MLA Ramuiva has clarified that he never expressed his opinions on admiration of a separate administration demand of the 10 cookie MLAs as he has been published in some state dailies. Addressing a press meet at his quarters in Lamphale on Tuesday, Ramuiva recounted how he had gone to Okrul on May 21st to visit his constituents. On being asked about his opinion on the 10 cookie MLAs by some reporters, he responded saying that he did not want to give any opinion with the current situation. However, his words were misinterpreted by locals and on social media and that was unfortunate. The Okrul MLA claimed that he has only spoken a few sentences which were personal and not the statement of the NPF. So for a short break, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Babina Diagnostics. Manipur da ihan hanba oina ing sok lisingamaga chamapal marifu humdoida linkat ki. Masina, awang nongpo bharat da yamna pak chauna miyoi bagi ana laying da darkar lakpa makhal kayagi changing sing pangto i. Mayam dugi marakta amatang palabada radiological investigation su mai pak na pangto kli. Wana hona jaba miyoi bagi sebani kana angam batak da laibak tiraba ana ayik nang laba kayagi mating pang jaba si sakang biduna. Awang nong pokta ihan hanba oina NABL gi accreditation pibira ki. Miyam gi potha fam ngay na fam testo fam report law fam gi awaba du kokhanduna. Chang fam hang fam potha fam gari parking cafeteria yauna marang kaina laizaraba unit ama oina miyam gi seba tau jari. Unit Asida Thamjari Ba Matam Gidar Karwe Rakpa Equipment Singh Di 1.5 Tesla MRI, 128 Slice CT Scanner, Mammography, Texa Scanner, Digital X-ray, Luinana, Hematology, Clinical Chemistry, Amadi, Clinical Pathology, Immunology, Microbiology, Molecular Biology, Amasung, Immunohistochemistry Studies Ki Masing Yamlaba Automated Analyzers. Welcome you all to UNACO School Channel in Far East, an exclusive co-educational residential school located on a sprawling 50 acres campus just 24 kilometers away from Imphal City. The school will be affiliated to CBSE New Delhi. Academic session will begin on 1st April 2023 for classes 4 to 8. 
Registration from at least an open for 2023 and 24 session. Welcome back. You're watching Elite TV English News. While appealing to non-members not to wear the jacket vest inscribed with press along with its legal logo, All Manipur Working Journalist Union has cautioned that any non-member found using the jacket shall be solely responsible and bear the consequences. In a release, Amdu Public Publicity Secretary Priyo Achom further stated that members of the union interested in acquiring the jacket may contact him within May 30th as no further requests will be entertained after the stipulated date. Ahead of his visit to the United States of America, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Tuesday moved Delhi's Rouse Avenue court, seeking no objection to the issuance of a fresh ordinary passport to him. Gandhi had surrendered his diplomatic passport after he was disqualified as a member of Lok Sabha in March following his conviction in a defamation case. Gandhi, elected to the Lok Sabha from Vayanad in Kerala in 2019, has applied for a fresh ordinary passport. The applicant ceased to be a member of parliament in March 2023 and as such he surrendered his diplomatic passport and is applying for a fresh ordinary passport by way of the present application. The applicant is seeking permission and no objection from this court for issuance of fresh ordinary passport to him, the application said PTI reported. The former Congress chief is slated to embark on a 10-day visit to the U.S. in June and address the Indian diaspora at the Madison Square Garden and also deliver a speech at Stanford University. Indian Overseas Congress Chairperson Sam Petroda has said Gandhi is scheduled to visit San Francisco, Washington, D.C. and New York. During his visit, Gandhi is likely to address two public meetings with Indian Americans, meet lawmakers at Capitol Hill <coughs> and members of think tanks, interact with university students and meet Wall Street executives. The purpose of his visit trip is to connect, interact and begin a new conversation with various individuals, institutions and media including the Indian diaspora that is growing in numbers in the United States and abroad to promote the shared values and vision of the real democracy with a focus on freedom, inclusion, sustainability, justice, peace and opportunities world over, Petroda said in a statement last week. The visit comes months after Gandhi's visit to the UK where his remarks alleging the structures of Indian democracy were under attack and there was a full-scale assault on the country's institutions created a storm in India and saw protests in parliament by BJP members. The BJP had accused Gandhi of maligning India on foreign soil and seeking foreign invest interventions. Rahul Gandhi was disqualified as a member of Lok Sabha in March after he, sent, he was sentenced to two years in jail by a Surat Metropolitan Magistrates Court in the 2019 case over his Why All Thieves Have Modi surname remark. An appeal by Gandhi to suspend his conviction and jail term is pending before the Gujarat High Court, which will pronounce his judgment after summer vacation in June. PM Narendra Modi discussed the issue of attacks on temples in Australia with his Australian counterpart Anthony Albanese. PM Albanese assured me once again today that he will take strict actions against such elements in the future also, PM Modi said. We will not tolerate elements that can harm the cordial relationship between India and Australia, PM Modi added. Nineteen-year-old Indian origin man crashed truck near White House says wanted to kill Biden. Police have arrested a nineteen-year-old Indian origin man named Sai Vashisht Kandula for crashing a truck into security barriers near the White House. Kandula told investigators that his goal was to get to the White House and seize power. Asked how he would seize power, Kandula said he would kill President Joe Biden if that's what I have to do. Nepal's legendary climber Kami Rita Sherpa has set another record by summiting the world's tallest peak for the 28th time just a week after he summited it for the 27th time. On May 17, Kami had summited the peak for 27th time. Another Nepali guide also summited Mount Everest for the 27th time on Monday. Kami Rita has scaled Mount Everest for the first time, had scaled the Mount Everest for the first time in May. 13th of 1994, besides Mount Everest, he has scaled Mount K2 and Lhotse one time, Mount Manalsu three times, and Cho Oyu eight times. He holds the record for the maximum number of climbs for over 8,000 meters. A record 478 climbers from 65 countries have been granted permits to climb Mount Everest during the spring climbing season.
The IPL 2023 qualifier won between Gujarat Titans GT and Chennai Super Kings CSK in Chennai marked the first instance of GT losing all their 10 wickets in a match in IPL. GT were bowled out for 157 runs in 20 overs as CSK won the match by 15 runs. GT have played 31 matches in IPL so far. For LETV News Channel, contact the email address info at letv.in or 940 and subscribe to LETV YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter for more information about the channel. And now let's look at the top headlines once again. One killed and one injured at Tronglaubi village. Curfew relaxation cancelled from for Imphal East, shortened to 12 p.m. for Imphal West. And Emily Ramuiva rejects East Mojo report. That's all we have for now. Thank you for watching Elite TV English News. Take care and stay safe.